Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So the Battlefield community has gone quiet for quite some days after the recent news about the next Battlefield game. I personally had some backup plans for times like this. Uh, some general videos about Battlefield, the next Battlefield game or even Battlefield 2042 and one of them is me interviewing Chad GPT. Now this might really sound ridiculous but we need a mastermind to be able to answer us with some rational answers, okay? And that isn't a person, really. It has to be ChatGPT. So I'm going to ask some serious questions, some really important questions about the next Battlefield game and the future of the franchise. And we're going to see what this mastermind has to offer. So if you guys enjoy the content, if you want to see more videos like this, if you want news around Battlefield, especially Battlefield and other FPS games, do make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is definitely the place for you and you won't miss out on the future videos. So without further ado, let's just go straight into the interview and see what ChatGPT has to say. So first of all, welcome to the video. It's nice to have you and thanks for coming in. You're very welcome. I'm excited to be part of this interview. Thanks for having me. All right, so the first question for you. As Battlefield community, we were bombarded by news last week. Like the, the recent news surrounding the next game were positive to say the least. And I want to know what was your first impression? What do you really think about all the news regarding the next Battlefield game? From the news and rumors swirling around the next Battlefield game, it sounds like DICE and EA are looking to rebound after the mixed reception to Battlefield 2042. The development team seems committed to addressing player feedback, focusing on a more grounded, gritty experience which is something that fans have been asking for. My first impression is cautiously optimistic. The franchise is reportedly aiming to return to its core element, large-scale warfare, destructible environments, and tactical team play. Early reports suggest they want to recapture the magic of Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, which were known for their intense, chaotic battles. If they pull that off, it could reignite interest in the series. However, there's still some skepticism due to the rocky launch of Battlefield 2042, where technical issues and design decisions left many players frustrated. But if DICE can learn from those mistakes, this next installment could be a redemption story. It's also exciting to hear rumors about deeper single-player content, possibly leaning into a narrative-driven experience alongside the multiplayer aspect. So tell me what you think about the next game actually redeeming the Battlefield franchise because it's not really in a good state right now because of 2042 and because of the wrong decisions of EA. Do you really think this is going to be the redemption that we need as Battlefield players? The next Battlefield game has the potential to redeem the franchise, but it depends heavily on execution. If DICE can deliver on key elements like a polished launch, improved game mechanics, and a return to classic Battlefield features, such as large-scale battles, destructible environments, and meaningful team play, then it could definitely win back the community. However, the franchise's reputation took a hit with 2042, so it will take more than just promises. They need to show real improvements and listen closely to player feedback. Success isn't guaranteed, but the opportunity is there. All right, so given your previous answer, I want to know what the recipe is for becoming that redemption. Like, what do they need to do? What do they need to deliver to get to that standard? To achieve redemption, the next Battlefield game needs several key elements. One, robust launch. A smooth, bug-free experience at launch is crucial. Players are wary after 2042, so stability and performance should be a top priority. Two, classic features. Reintroducing beloved elements like destructible environments, vehicle gameplay, and large, diverse maps will help recapture the essence of earlier titles. Three, engaging gameplay. The gameplay needs to be both fun and strategic, promoting teamwork and tactics rather than chaotic, unbalanced matches. Four, compelling single-player content. A strong narrative campaign could attract both new players and veterans, providing depth beyond multiplayer. Five, community engagement. Regular updates, transparency, and responsiveness to player feedback will be essential for rebuilding trust within the community. By focusing on these areas, DICE can create a game that not only meets expectations, but also revitalizes interest in the franchise. All right, so with all that said, do you really think that EA will be able to pull it off? Like, is it a big job for them to not be able to do it, or are you optimistic about it? It's hard to say definitively, but EA has the resources and talent within DICE to potentially pull it off. If they prioritize player feedback and focus on delivering a polished experience, they can certainly turn things around. However, the pressure is on after the mixed reception of Battlefield 2042, so they need to be strategic in their development process. EA has a track record of both successes and missteps, so it will ultimately come down to their commitment to innovation and quality. If they can leverage the lessons learned from past 
titles and truly engage with the community, there's a solid chance they can create a game that not only redeems the franchise, but also reinvigorates the Battlefield brand as a whole. The potential is there. It just needs to be executed well. What can possibly go wrong with a game? I mean, what or how could it lead to a failure? Like, if we consider that the next game will become a failure, what's the recipe for that? How things can lead to that? Several factors could lead to failure for the next Battlefield game. One, technical issues. Launching with bugs, server problems, or performance issues can frustrate players and lead to negative reviews. Two, ignoring player feedback. If DICE fails to address community concerns and expectations, it may alienate longtime fans. Three, poor game design choices. Overcomplicating mechanics, unbalanced gameplay, or lackluster maps can detract from the experience or inadequate support. Insufficient post-launch updates, lack of content, or slow response to bugs can erode player trust. Five, market competition. With other shooters vying for attention, if the game doesn't stand out or offer a compelling experience, it may struggle to capture an audience. If any of these issues arise, it could significantly impact the game's success and the franchise's reputation. So what do you think will happen if the next game fails? Like that's the simple question. What's gonna happen if they can't pull it off? If the next Battlefield game fails, several outcomes could unfold. One, loss of player trust. Continued failures would erode trust among the community, making it difficult for future titles to regain popularity. Two, franchise decline. A poor reception could lead to a decline in sales and player engagement, potentially prompting EA to rethink the franchise's direction or shelf it altogether. Three, increased competition. Players may turn to other franchises, like Call of Duty or newer shooters, further diminishing Battlefield's relevance in the market. Four, Impact on DICE. Such a failure could lead to internal restructuring at DICE, affecting morale and possibly resulting in changes in leadership or team composition. Five, shift in focus. EA might pivot away from traditional Battlefield games, exploring alternative formats or experiences, such as mobile games or different genres, which could alienate core fans. In short, a failure could have far-reaching consequences, potentially sidelining one of the industry's iconic franchises for years to come. So let me know what you think about returning to the roots and specifically removing specialists from the game, because at least the core Battlefield fans didn't really like this approach. Returning to the roots of Battlefield and removing specialists could be a strong move. The specialists in Battlefield 2042 received mixed reactions, with many players feeling they disrupted the traditional class-based system that encouraged teamwork and strategy. By reintroducing classic classes, the game could foster more collaborative gameplay, emphasizing the importance of team roles. This shift could also streamline the experience, making it more accessible for both new and returning players. Focusing on core mechanics, like squad play and class synergy, would help recapture the essence that many fans loved about earlier titles. Overall, it seems like a promising direction that could address player concerns and bring back the franchise's identity. So how about the new Battle Royale experience? Do you think it will benefit the game or it's just not gonna do that and it will do the opposite? A new Battle Royale experience could be a double-edged sword for the next Battlefield game. On one hand, if done well, it could attract a broader audience, tapping into the popularity of the Battle Royale genre. This could introduce new players to the Battlefield franchise and provide fresh content for existing fans. On the other hand, if the Battle Royale mode is perceived as an afterthought or lacks the depth and mechanics that define Battlefield, it could detract from the core multiplayer experience. If resources are diverted from traditional gameplay to focus on Battle Royale, it might lead to an imbalanced game that disappoints longtime fans. Ultimately, the success of a Battle Royale mode will depend on how well it integrates with the existing gameplay and whether it adds value rather than detracts from the overall experience. Balancing innovation with the franchise's strengths will be key. So what do you think about the launch, like in day one? Will it be good or mediocre or even worse? Will it be a disaster? What do you really think? Given the challenges faced with Battlefield 2042, there's a strong possibility that the launch of the next Battlefield game could be scrutinized heavily. If DICE and EA have truly learned from past mistakes, we could see a good launch with fewer bugs and a more polished experience. However, if they rush development or overlook key areas based on previous feedback, it might result in a mediocre launch filled with technical issues and unbalanced gameplay. The level of hype surrounding the game will amplify player expectations, so the pressure is on to deliver a solid product from day one. Ultimately, it's a critical moment for the franchise. A strong launch is essential for regaining player trust and ensuring long-term success, but the potential for disappointment is still there. If they don't hit the mark, it could lead to another round of frustration for fans. Uh, what about the pre-orders then? 
there has been a campaign going on since the disaster release of Battlefield 2042 for not pre-ordering any Battlefield game. Why do you think about that? The campaign against pre-ordering Battlefield games is a significant response to the disappointment surrounding Battlefield 2042. Many players feel burned by pre-ordering, as they expected a polished experience but received a game riddled with issues. This movement highlights the need for transparency and accountability in the gaming industry. I think it's a valid stance. Encouraging players to wait for reviews and community feedback before making a purchase can pressure developers and publishers to deliver a quality product. If Battlefield wants to regain trust, they need to demonstrate that they can provide a game worthy of pre-orders. Ultimately, this movement serves as a reminder that consumer feedback matters and developers should prioritize quality and player satisfaction over quick sales. If the next Battlefield game can prove itself post-launch, perhaps the conversation around pre-orders can shift back to a more positive light in the future. If you were the CEO of EA, or just the leading man in DICE, what would you do to ensure a great game coming out next year? If I were the CEO of EA or the leader at DICE, I would take several strategic steps to ensure a successful game launch. One, community engagement. Actively involve the player community throughout the development process. This includes regular updates, feedback sessions, and playtesting phases where players can provide input on gameplay mechanics and features. Two, focus on quality assurance. Invest heavily in quality assurance and testing to identify and fix bugs early. A dedicated team should be tasked with stress testing the game across various platforms to ensure a smooth launch. Three. Return to core elements. Prioritize the core aspects that define the Battlefield franchise, such as class-based gameplay, large-scale battles, and destructible environments. This would help recapture the essence that longtime fans cherish. Four, balance development resources. Ensure that sufficient resources are allocated to both multiplayer and single-player content, providing a well-rounded experience that appeals to a diverse audience. Transparent marketing. Approach marketing with honesty and transparency, showcasing actual gameplay and features instead of relying on cinematic trailers. This builds trust and sets realistic expectations. Six, post-launch support plan. Create a clear roadmap for post-launch support, including regular updates, new content, and a robust plan for addressing player feedback quickly. Seven, learn from the past. Analyze the successes and failures of previous titles to avoid repeating mistakes, making sure that lessons from Battlefield 2042 are thoroughly integrated into the development process. By focusing on these areas, I would aim to build a game that not only meets, but exceeds player expectations, ensuring a successful launch and revitalizing the Battlefield franchise. So do you have any final words for the Battlefield community? Absolutely. To the Battlefield community, your voices matter more than ever. It's been a challenging time, but your passion and feedback are crucial in shaping the future of the franchise. Stay engaged, share your thoughts, and continue to advocate for the kind of game you want to see. Remember, great games come from collaboration between developers and players. Let's hope that the next installment can recapture the magic of Battlefield while addressing past concerns. Together, we can help create a vibrant future for this beloved franchise. Keep the faith and let's look forward to an exciting journey ahead. So apparently, Chad GPT knows better than most of the developers of the next Battlefield game. What should they do to be able to deliver a great Battlefield experience on day one? And what are the obstacles? Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you agree to the answers of Chad GPT and what do you think about the interview? And do make sure to let me know what do you think that EA, DICE and other studios working on the next Battlefield game should do to be able to deliver a great Battlefield game. Until next time, guys, stay cool.